Hello and thank you for watching my footage on the Kale's Peacemaker National 2-Gun Match held on November 6th. Stand by! Stage 1 was a rifle-only jungle run. It was about 25 degrees out this morning, which led to more than a few people slowing down on their trigger pulls, including me. Here there was one paper target and two steel ipsix targets at about 75 yards, each requiring one hit. I do a proactive reload, then zoom up to 4x. The first popper was at about 125 yards, requiring one hit, and you can use the barrel for support. And the next two are not far beyond that and must be hit twice often. Stage 2 starts with two sets of paper targets. One set must be shot over the stick, the other under. And a trick here, not explicitly stated, was that the stick may be used for support when going over, uh, making it the choice for the further targets. Show clear. And then moving up to the pistol targets, I run a bit slow so I could have sped it up there. So here's my big mistake of the stage, the five steel plates to be hit once each. And I end up hitting four of them and hitting one of them twice, missing that short one off to the left. Yeah, it's just, stage three, up. this is my dumpster fire stage. So these paper targets were C-zone sized targets inside a no-shoot target uh, perimeter. I end up hitting two of the no-shoot sections and then completely missing one of the shots on the target, costing me a total of 25 seconds. A good amount of people were hitting those no-shoots, but I had just a bit more than the others. And here I'm jogging a bit slower than I should have. And then I'll mix in some mediocre pistol shooting and end up resulting in a poor stage time. Am I? <coughs> Stage 4 allowed the shooter to use rifle and paper, but two headshots each were required. The other option was pistol only, where two hits anywhere was allowed. I selected pistol even though, though I knew I was having a bit of trouble with pistol earlier in the morning. All the paper ended up going smoothly. I do a proactive reload here while moving to the next target. And that took a bit too much ammo, so I probably should have done another proactive reload right there, moving over to these plates. And then these plates required two hits each, instead of the other plates requiring one. Stage 5 was all out of the back of a road legal and licensed mob deuce. And the cameraman didn't capture the targets, but there were three paper targets requiring two hits each, and then five steel requiring two hits each. 
all at about 15 yards. And there you show clear, holster, and then pick up your staged rifle. I was at about 3x for this because the first target was at 160 yards, the second is at 240, and then there's another popper at 160. I then zoom up to 6x for a C-Zone Ipsic at 375 yards and a full-size Ipsic at 480. Are you ready? Ready? Stage Bye. six required the shooter to kneel as an attempt to cover behind the tube, and each of the steel targets took two hits. For better flow in shooting rhythm, some people shot all the large targets first, then the small ones. But once you're done, you drop it in the bucket, and you'll move on to some rifle targets. Here I'm accepting of my slower jog just because I know there were tough precision shots ahead, and I forgot to uncover my lens caps from the finish of the prior stage, so I had to flip them open there. And we'll do a quick extra jog through the bunker. Up. And then I'll engage a popper at 140 yards, another popper at 140 yards, two 8-inch plates at 300 yards, and then a full-size Ipsic at 400 yards. This is one of the most difficult stages I've ever shot, all because you were not allowed to kneel here, so it made stabilizing very difficult. I tried heavily leaning into the rifle, but maybe I should have backed off on that a bit. Maybe I was pushing it on a little bit too hard to make these shots. It was also difficult for the spotters to make calls on the plates at 300 yards just because of the placement of where they were on the hill and how the rounds tended to land in the grass instead of in dirt. Overall, this match went pretty well for me, showing I've made some solid growth in the past year. If you're on the fence about competing, I definitely suggest it. Uh, the community has been very welcoming, and I feel these matches are a great way to train and put your skills to the test. Thanks again for watching, and I'll be back in the spring with even more.